Hello Art Cadets and welcome to this week's video. So the main focus for today's video is, as you probably guessed from the title, looking at the primary colours to illustrate your picture with. But first of all I'm going to tell you where the inspiration came from for this initial drawing. So recently where we live there has been um, an air show and they have it every year and they do all sorts of aeroplane flyovers and they have aeroplanes called the Red Arrows and they're really impressive. We also have coming up this week um, on the TV in England a programme called the Great British Bake Off which I am a big fan of and so I combined the two together and created this illustration called Cake Delivery. So back to the topic of this conversation and today's video and that's looking at primary colours. So you probably all know what the primary colours are, so we have blue, red and yellow. And when I'm thinking about what colours to do for my paintings, I don't just go in straight away and start painting, I usually have a think first and have a play around with the different colours and create mini versions of the picture I'm going to colour in and just to see what goes and what doesn't. So for this picture I thought I would do a simple colour palette just using the three primary colours and see how effective it would be. Because quite often when you're looking at um, all the different colours available you can get a bit bogged down and think that you've got to use all the colours available to you to make the picture or the painting really stand out and be as effective as possible. But I think sometimes that it's better to use a smaller range of colours and in doing so you get more of an impact so it looks more effective using less sometimes. So obviously for this painting the sky I was going to choose as the blue and I just did a wash all over the background leaving the clouds white. Now for the plane obviously <laughs> As you can see I've chosen a really bright red and I love this colour but here is where you could have chosen so even if you chose the red for the aeroplane wings you could have chosen a different colour for the body a different colour for um, you know all, all different parts of the plane really but I decided that I would just do these three primary colours and go with the red for the whole thing so for the two wings then I chose to do them the same brightness, the same red and the variation comes a little bit where for the body of the plane I've chosen to do it a slightly more watered down version of the red. So you've still got the same colour but you've also got a bit of variation with the shade of the red. So as you can see here it is a little bit more watered down and I'm doing the underneath of the aeroplane and the body of the aeroplane all red. Now, there isn't any rule or <laughs> you haven't got to do it this way. I'm just showing you of a very simplified way of mixing your colors and not feeling bogged down by the thought that you've got to do everything a different color. Because within one color, obviously there's different shades and you can make that look really effective. So having said I'm only going to use the three primary colors, I did, as you can see, use um, a gray for the propeller and for the wheels. But the main colours are the red, blue and yellow which I'm doing now on the little parachutes that are delivering the cakes. Now again with these parachutes you could have chosen to do them all different colours and there's nothing wrong with that at all and you can get a really good effect with different colours on different parachutes or rainbow colours or anything you like really. This isn't a rule, this is just um, sometimes it can be effective and this is the way I've chosen to do it today. And 
going again with the cake cases. You could have chosen to do these a different colour and maybe first off you wouldn't have thought of doing them blue because you've already got blue for the sky. But by choosing a different um, shade of blue or a different, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I can't think of the word. But by doing them darker blue, you're still using blue but it tends to blend in and kind of gel together really nicely. So once that was all dry, I went in with my colour pencil and just gave um, a bit of darker red to the edges of the wings and also did the body of the plane with a little bit of um, darker red on the top as you can see I'm doing here. Now this was so it didn't look too flat and just makes the picture look a bit more interesting with that extra shading. So when you can see I'm using orange here, it wasn't really to do to add any colour as much as to just even out the tone and make it a really bright yellow. And then I was just going in with a powder blue colour pencil just to merge those clouds in and just kind of unify it all really. And the rabbit that's actually driving the plane I just did in a pale sort of brown colour, the same as the cakes. So these aren't really colours that contribute to the overall picture but they're just kind of neutral colours so I haven't really added them as a colour as such. So once we've done the main colouring in, um, I just thought I'd add a bit of movement to the painting. So obviously a plane in flight, its propellers would be moving. And I'm using this plastic um, stencil and just going outside with my white Prismacolor pencil and just using the different size circles to draw around and eventually make the propeller look like it's moving. So if you haven't got one of these stencils, that doesn't matter at all. You can just use a variety of different um, round shapes that you've got at home. So bottle lids, caps, cups, anything that you've got to make these shapes. The advantage with this obviously is that you can see through it and you can see where your circles are going. But there's always a way around it so don't think you can't do it just because you haven't got what I've got. So once I've done these circles I just added a bit more um, shading. As you can see I'm doing here just to kind of give the impression that those propellers are going round. And last but not least, I'm just adding a very light shade of blue with my pan pastels and a cotton wool ball. And last of all, just adding with my white gel pen some highlights and some um, stripes to the plane itself. So the three main colours are still there, those primary colours, and I think they work really well together to just give a simple yet effective um, end result on the picture. Now at this point I think I just decided to add a slightly darker red um, just to kind of contrast the body of the plane with the wings and since I put the white um, shapes around the propeller I wanted it to really stand out that bright red of the plane. 
and then we're done so just left to take off the tape to give that lovely nice border that I like hopefully you've enjoyed watching me paint and if you've got any comments or suggestions for next week's video please leave them below thumbs up and subscribe thank you for watching